you can create engaging videos for YouTube, TikTok or Instagram without showing your face, recording your voice or spending hours editing. The best part is that you can automate the entire process using a software called Nathan. Select the category you want to create a video for. Choose the video duration and you will get 10 different topic ideas. So just choose the one you like and click submit. Now the automation starts to work and you will receive the video right in your email inbox. What if the moon suddenly disappeared? Our world would never be the same. Imagine our nights suddenly becoming pitch black. In this video, I'll show you how to build a faceless video system that automatically writes scripts, generates voiceovers, finds visuals and creates videos for you. And by the end of this video, you'll have your own AI agent to create unlimited faceless videos in any niche you want. So make sure you watch the video till the end to learn how to do it. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. So we are going to do this in just three parts. The first part is to get access to the N8N automation platform. N8N is an automation tool that lets you connect different apps and services to automate tasks. This is where we'll build and run our automations. So to get access to the N8N platform, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to get the N8N hosting. Now there are three different ways that you can use N8N. The first option is to host N8N locally on your computer. This option is free, but it is more complex to set up. The second option is using WSK for hosting N8N. This is the quick and low cost way to host N8N. This costs just $14 per month or 1170 Indian rupees per month. The third option is the N8N Cloud, which is the official platform by N8N. This costs around 24 pounds per month, which is approximately $27. So it's much more expensive and the features are limited too. In this video, we are going to purchase N8N from WSK, where we get unlimited active workflows and unlimited workflow executions. Since N8N is open source, you'll get so much more benefits when you host it on a platform like WebSpace Kit. So to host N8N on WSK, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Scroll down and click choose plan. Here choose how long you want the hosting for. I'm going to choose 12 months. Also choosing this option gives me the best price which is $14 per month. Fill in these details, enter your payment details and click checkout. So now we have successfully made the payment and got our N8N hosting. Now click here and you can see that our plan is active. Let's go to step 2 which is to set up the N8N automation. To do that, scroll down, click go to setup, here fill in the details, click next and it will take you to this page. So now we have successfully set up N8N and we have reached the N8N dashboard which means we can now start creating our workflows. You have two options. You can either create a new workflow and then build the engine manually by adding each node one by one or you can use the ready-made automation template which lets you quickly import the workflow and lets you use the agent immediately. To make it simple, we are going to use the workflow template that is already available in WebSpace Kit where N8N is hosted. So this is going to speed up the workflow and let us get the results faster. Let's move on to step 3 which is to import the workflow template. To import the template, first we need to download the template. So to download the template, go back to WebSpace Kit Scroll down and here you will find different workflow templates for various AI agents. Since we are creating a faceless video AI agent, let's select that and click download. And it will be downloaded to your computer. Once you download the workflow, to import it, go back to N8N, click start from scratch, then click here, select import from file and upload the file you just downloaded. As you can see here, we've got our workflow. Let's change the name of this workflow. Okay, now to make this workflow work, we need to set up a few things. Let's go to the second part of this video, which is to connect the services needed to run the workflow. To connect it, we need to sign up for a few services, get their API keys and then add them to our workflow. To do that, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to connect OpenAI to the workflow. OpenAI is used to generate video ideas based on the category that you select. So you connect it, go back to the workflow and here you can see an exclamation icon which indicates that we need to set it up. So to connect OpenAI, let's double click on this, click here and select create new credentials. Here we need to enter the API key from OpenAI. To get the API key, just click the link in the description 
click login and sign in with your Google account. Once you're signed in, click create new secret key. Enter a name for your API key. I'm going to enter N8 in and click create secret key. As you can see, we've got the API key. Now just copy it. Go back to this tab. Paste it here. And click save. Now close this. So now we have successfully connected OpenAI to our workflow. Now go back. Once you connect your OpenAI account to the first node, all the other nodes that use OpenAI will automatically be connected as well. You just need to open each node individually and confirm that the credentials are properly applied. As you can see, the credentials are added here. And if we go back now, you'll notice that the red warning messages have disappeared. We have now successfully connected OpenAI to our workflow. Once you connect to OpenAI, let's go to the next step, which is to connect Tably AI to the workflow. Tably AI is the tool that we are going to use to search the web and collect relevant information about the topic. Now, this will be used to create the script for our video. So to connect Tably, click on this node. And here you need to enter the API key of Tably AI. To get the API key, just click the link in the description. Click login and sign in with your Google account. As you can see, we've got the API key. Just copy it. Go back to the workflow. Click here and paste the API key. So now we successfully connected Tavli AI to the workflow. Next, let's go to the third step, which is to connect Claude to the workflow. Claude Anthropic takes the video idea and the research and turns it into a complete script scene by scene. So to connect it, open the Anthropic chat model, then click here and select create new credentials. And here we need to enter the API key from Anthropic. To get the API key, just click the link in the description and sign in with your Google account. Now go here, then click create API key. Now select any workspace, then give a name for your API key and click add. As you can see, we've got the cloud API key. So let's copy it, go back to the workflow and paste it here. So now we've successfully connected Anthropic Cloud model to our workflow. And with that, we have successfully connected the AI servers that are needed for our workflow. So next, let's go to the third part of this video, which is to set up video generation. This is where the video generation actually begins using the script that we created in the previous steps. So to set it up, we're going to do four steps. The first step is to create an account on JSON to video. Now, this is the tool that we'll be using to generate the video based on the script that has been created. So to create an account, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this tool. Here, click get API key and sign in using your Google account. Now, if you check your email, you'll find an API key there. Just copy it. Go back to JSON to video and paste it here. Click confirm. Now enter your API and click sign in. And your JSON to video account will be created. Once you've created the account, let's go to the second step, which is to create the movie template. The movie template is the video layout or the design that you want to use for the video. Now this template will be used for every video, maintaining the same structure, like how many scenes it has, where the text appears, what images or voiceovers are used and more. The template will be in JSON format. So to create the movie template, click on movie templates, then click add new template and click on this icon. Here, give a name to your template. Simply click here, then click edit templates JSON. Here we need to enter the JSON code. To make this super easy, I've already created a ready to use JSON template. You'll find the link to that in the description below. So just download the file, copy the code, paste it into the JSON editor and click update JSON. As you can see, this is the layout of the video. Once you've created the movie template, next, let's go to the third step, 
which is to add the template to our workflow. And to do that, first we need to get the template ID of this layout. So to get it, simply click here and select show template ID. As you can see, we've got the template ID. Now to add this to our workflow, just copy the ID. Go back to your workflow. Click on this node. Now paste the template ID here. So now we have successfully added the movie template. And once you've added the template ID, click go back to canvas. Now let's go to the final step, which is to add the JSON to videos API key to our workflow. Since we have already got the API key in our email while creating the JSON account, let's go to our email and copy the API key. Go back to your workflow. Now open this node, click here and click create new credentials. Here enter X API key, then paste the API key you copied in this field. Then click save and that's it. We have successfully added the JSON to video API key to the workflow. Just go back to the canvas, now open this node and make sure the JSON to video API is connected. We have now successfully set up video generation in our workflow. Once it is ready, we need to tell the workflow how to send the video to the user. So we are going to send the video through mail. So next, let's see how to connect our email to the workflow. To connect our email, just click on this node, click here and select create new credentials. Sign in with your Google account. So now the videos will be sent to the user from this email account. Just enable the permissions and click continue. And that's it. We've connected our email to the workflow. Just close this and go back to the canvas. Make sure you save the workflow by clicking here after you complete each setup. Okay, so now we've successfully completed setting up our workflow and it is fully functional. Now let's test the workflow and see how it works. To do that, click on test workflow to activate it. And as you can see, we've got the form. First select the category of the video that you want to create and you will find different categories. If you don't find the category you're looking for, you can enter it here. Then click here and choose the video duration. Then choose the video style you want and you'll find different video styles. Just choose the one you want. You can choose the voice model that you need for the video. Just click here and choose the voice you want. But the thing is, you can't listen to the voices from here. To listen to these voices, just click the link in the description and here you'll find all the voices listed on this form. Just listen to them and select the one you want. Once you select the voice, then enter the email where you want to receive this video. And once you've filled in these details, click submit. And you can see that the workflow has started to run. And a window will automatically pop up showing the ideas it has generated. From here, you can simply choose the idea you want. The one you choose will be used to generate the final video. So just choose the one you want if you don't like any ideas from here, you can regenerate them by clicking here. Then select yes and click submit. Now if you click here, you can see that we've got 10 new ideas. Just select the one you want and click submit. Now our video will be generated and sent to our email. Now if you go to our email, you can see that we've received the mail with the video URL. Just click on the link. And as you can see, our video is ready. What if the moon suddenly disappeared? Our world would never be the same. Imagine our nights suddenly becoming pitch black. Owls, lions, and countless creatures that depend on moonlight for hunting would be lost in darkness. Without the moon... It took our topic, crafted a script, generated the visuals, animated them, and seamlessly added our music. So that's it, guys. This is how you can create viral faceless videos using NA10. Now you can start building this workflow for yourself. The first step is launching NA10 on WSK. To do that, just click here and it'll take you to the same page we saw in the first step. We are making many more videos on NA10. You just have to leave a comment below and we'll build it for you. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.